What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Pumple Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22. We're back on Erlingrat. How are y'all doing? Welcome back. Uh, I do owe you guys an apology for Wednesday's video. I was totally going to make one. He's going to be selling the wheat, starting on, on this field. Uh, but we had weather come in Wednesday night. That was just a little, a little more than I wanted to, you know record in and stuff because there was possibility of some some not so fun weather not so fun weather so ended up everything was all right all good but that is what happened there um so we're back obviously i have purchased a field i have sold all the wheat uh, i streamed this map today yesterday for you guys yes it'll be on the second channel eventually yes the link is also in the description as you can sell as you can tell or as you can sell <laughs> We have no wheat. Um, we did buy a plot of land. And that was this bad boy right here. It's only $268,000. So it wasn't bad. So there's that. Now, I will also tell you while we're in here. Uh, soybeans. Soybeans are planted. And uh, fertilized and herbicided and all that good stuff. Uh, except for over. It's herbicided, but you know. It's a thing. Um, <laughs> forget about those fields all the time. Apparently anyway um words are hard words are hard did you know words are hard i uh leasing this big m right now i wanted something that would pull the hills up here and i was kind of nervous about just like a tractor with moors on it this isn't doing bad but i think i'll end up just with like probably the 8r and those like pots or moors the, the bigger moors are okay, but on these hills, they're just not going to be great. So I think I'll just go with the Pottingers, front three-point, back three-point, and just go with that eventually. Um, it sucks I can't have the big moors. I, I don't think they would work up here very well. The big M does okay up here with the hills, uh, but there's definitely times it lugs down and slows down quite a bit. So I think we'll just run an 8R uh, for horsepower. and Well, we already have the tractor. Uh, so the next step on here, obviously, is to get this all made into hay for our cows that we don't have yet. Uh, plus, you guys can see up there, I have $383,000. Uh, I need about a million dollars to set up the cow building, buy the cows, all that good stuff. There is some more equipment I need to buy as well, like a loading wagon. So it all is going to happen. But it's just a matter of like when, you know? So I'm going to definitely have to harvest soybeans again uh, and, and sell those to make the cows finally happen on this map. Uh, that is definitely going to be a must. A must, a must, a must. Now, I will tell you, mowing this field, obviously I was quite a ways into it when I started this video. Uh, going to be about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that, I believe. I mowed for a little while on stream uh, today, yesterday for you guys, and uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. You can see the outside lap's already headed as well because this does need to be hay for the cows. So won't be a big deal. We are going to use the robot barn and we do have that giant bin down there. Uh, so we're just going to pick this up loose and uh, put it in that bin. And then we'll be able to haul it loose. We have our straw and we have our silage already in there and uh, good to go. So that will be nice. It will be nice eventually, but this is going to be a bit of a process to pick all this up and everything. Uh, I'll get this done. It's Thursday night for me, and, you know, either I'll watch King of the Hill or I'll watch some Twitch or whatever. Well, first thing I'm doing after this video is going to make myself some dinner finally. I like eating earlier. I wasn't hungry, so. But now I am. It's 9 o'clock at night, and I'm like, hey, dinner sounds good, so. I have to go work on that here in a minute. But anyway. Yeah, those storms uh, Wednesday ended up not really doing much. It rained pretty hard for a few minutes. Uh, they looked, as they were coming across the state, it looked like they were going to be really bad. Have some, some punch to them. But by the time they got over here, they were pretty much all bark and no like, bite, you know? They didn't really do anything. and really mess anything up. But all good there. Um, I was actually talking about this on my stream today, but it's very exciting. I'm going to talk about it here, too. Uh, for those of you that weren't at the stream, uh, there is fiber 
Well, the, the very early stages of fiber internet. This, this hill causes issues. Our hills in general can cause some issues with GPS occasionally. Uh, there is the very, very, very early stages of fiber being put in in my neighborhood. Uh, it's kind of like I was describing this. Like I live towards the front of the neighborhood, we'll say, but like the back of the neighborhood, there's also like a way out to like a major road. And that major road has had fiber put in multiple times. Um, there's all kinds of like uh, boxes there for like AT&T and, and whatnot. Probably just AT&T actually. But there's all these great big boxes there and, and there's always trucks up there working and they've dug it up I think twice in the past uh, along that road to put in fiber, which is, you know, not a bad thing. But this time they're on, and that's on like the other side of the road. This time they're on my side of the road towards my neighborhood. And then, actually, we're just going to ditch this up here for now. This is going to get returned. Obviously, we don't own it. I think I'm just going to go with those other moors, to be honest. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, what's it called? The fiber, this time, they're, they're using the boring machines on this side of the road. And, like, all the little survey flags for, like, uh, you know, the gas, gas lines, water lines, sewer lines, because we don't have anything else underground in, in my particular neighborhood. Um, they're all like, they go down the main road and then they turn into our neighborhood and they start coming up the kind of the main road, but in the neighborhood towards my house. And I'm like, Hey, yo, that could be, that could be something good. Now I don't know what company it is. If it's AT&T or there's like a local company that's actually trying to roll out fiber, uh, everywhere, which would be awesome. I'd rather have the local company personally. Uh, but I kind of bet you it's AT&T. The only reason I say that is because they are going from like all those AT&T boxes I was talking about before. They're going from all of those under the main road and then down the road towards my neighborhood. So it kind of makes me just assume that it's AT&T, which is fine. They have good fiber internet around here. It's just not available in my neighborhood. Does that make sense? Now... A lot of what they're doing in neighborhoods with it is they're putting it overhead. Um, not just using the, the boring machines to go to like each house, you know, so hopefully if they get it into the neighborhood here, we can, and I need to check the availability on it on their, their site. I checked the local site earlier and it was still unavailable, but I would love to have me some fiber internet. I don't know if I'd go like the, the local company has like three different uh, plans kind of. And, uh, you know, one's like 500, one's a gig, one's whatever, lower than 500. And, uh, I don't know that I would go all the way to the gig. I mean, I might, it just kind of depends on the price and, and stuff. I don't know that I necessarily need it cause you're never going to get gig speed, uh, anywhere. And I know it's kind of a cumulative thing with everybody that I have in my house and on my internet and stuff. A gig would be nice. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but like I said, you're never going to get full, full bandwidth anywhere anyway. So. It's kind of one of those things like, yeah, it'd be cool, but I don't know if I need it, but if it's available and it's only a few dollars more then hey, why not just to go and say I have a gig and then I could say I have, I have better internet than Carson. Well, you know, <laughs> that'd be an accomplishment for me because my internet has not been any better than a lot of people's for a long time. So it would be very, very cool if, uh, I had some better internet. I'm not going to lie. It'd be very nice. I would definitely appreciate that for my upload, especially. And like, I could make these videos on like, you know, Friday morning and have it out by noon. Just saying. Because the upload time is what's the killer. So. Could be really, really, really cool here soon. I'm not going to lie. But they're pretty, I mean, where they're working now, it's pretty far away from my house and then like i said maybe they'll run a main through and then kind of go overhead from there uh all the other wires in my neighborhood you know power and phone and cable uh they're all overhead uh in this neighborhood now if i go to the next neighborhood over uh that's like 10 or 15 years newer than this neighborhood they put everything underground in that one but this one i guess they just it was too old and it wasn't a thing probably when they built this one so Kind of interesting, and uh, I'll definitely keep you all up to date. Um, Cause that could really change things for me, like on the on the 
what I call the back end of like what I do, you know, as far as like uploading to YouTube and stuff like that could really change, really change some stuff for me, which would be, would be awesome. Not going to lie. It'd be really, really awesome. So definitely keep you guys up to date on that. But uh, I'm excited. Dad and I would happen to be like, we haven't been on like that side of my neighborhood in a while. And we happened to come home that way last night from the farm. Uh, cause oh, we went to Jimmy John's. We just like came home that way. There's multiple ways we could come home, but we decided to come home that way. I don't really know why. It just kind of worked out that way, you know? And, uh, I was like, oh man, they're working again. And it was like almost dark and the guys were still out there. They were putting that like coax, that orange, not coax, uh, conduit. <laughs> they were putting that like in the ground. At like almost dark last night, but it's like, you know what? These, these dudes, most of them, most of the time they're from like out of town and they come here to work and that's what they do. They work. So plus they're probably going to lose, uh, lose some days to like weather and stuff. So they're probably playing catch up anyway. So but yeah, I was like, this is awesome. I'm very excited. And, uh, I will definitely be probably the first one in my neighborhood to sign up for it. You know, if it's. Spec it could be Spectrum too. Spectrum, I know, is rolling fiber out. Um, I'm assuming it's AT&T, so probably what I would do is get it. And then just in case, I'd keep the uh, Spectrum for a little bit before switching over to uh, the AT&T, like, all the way, or whoever the other service is, just to make sure it's good. Because uh, what I do, I need internet all the time. You guys know this, so... There's no like downtime. Downtime is no no good, you know. So, be interesting. I I can't wait to uh, can't wait. I just can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we are done with our two outside passes. Of course, it doesn't line up at all over here, so we'll just do this. We'll go here, and we'll go yonder. Uh, and I know somebody's probably gonna say or think you guys are thinking it right. Just get a get a drying silo. They make they make these silos. You just put the the wet grass in, and boom, it becomes hay. What are you doing? I might. I might get one of those. I know they're out there. Just have to uh, track one down. Like I said I know they're out there. Which that would be handy. Then I wouldn't have to uh, ted, and I could just use the rake on the moors or whatever, and just go at it like that. So that might be, might be the strategy at some point just to do that, you know, probably a better option than having this head. That thing's not bad, but you know, it's another step. And then technically I wouldn't have to rake anymore either. So technically a driving silo, uh, would remove two steps from the process, which is not a bad idea in my opinion. So. Might have to do that. It would eliminate two pieces of equipment as well. You know, cut cost. Uh, go this way, dude. Go this way. We would definitely be able to cut our cost because, you know, wouldn't have to maintain our tractors nearly as much either, obviously. Like, you know, if you're not running them, then you don't have to, you know, the maintenance bar doesn't go down. The fuel gauge doesn't go down, right? <laughs> Thinking like, way too, like, real world with this right now. <laughs> Like, well, if you have uh, one engine that does multiple things, or in this case, a bin, that would dry our, our grass into hay for us. Like, hey, why not? You know, I'm, I'm it, it might be a thing, y'all. It might just have to be, might just have to be a thing at some point on here. You never know. I mean, I know, and I would like to have one. <laughs> It'll probably happen. So if you guys are curious, we're just north of the homestead. Here's the homestead down yonder. We're up here. I do have these other patches of grass I could cut. Uh, I, don't know, I just realized this. We didn't fertilize this all the way. Oh, no, it's because I just mowed it. Never mind. It was fertilized all the way. It's not now because I just cut it. So it will be. I will fertilize it before. I, before, before I cut it again, of course. No, I will not be rolling it. Rolling grass. Yes, it speeds up the growth because it... it makes it grow the same day or whatever, but shortens your growth uh, cycle by one day. But I mean, it's not worth it because I can fertilize it so much faster that I'd rather just do that, honestly. So yeah, 
All right, so obviously y'all kind of, you know what, y'all get the picture about Teddy. Let's switch over to the rake for a minute here. I know you guys already know what a rake is and everything, but come to the rake. And then I don't have the loading wagon on here now. It's actually the one I used for straw. I turned it off again today because uh, my buddy Sarge didn't have it or doesn't have it. I need to get it to him because he, uh, he helped me out farming today, so... Yeah, so obviously going to rake uh, probably two passes around the field. And then I'll I'll get that. Uh, did I act? I might have actually activated it. It's a Stevie loading wagon that uh, has has capacity. I don't have it. Okay, it's a Kloss. Kloss one, and he added it. It holds like 250,000. And it made picking up straw really, really good because it also goes, uh, I think, 17... 18, 19 miles an hour, something like that. It rolls along the field. It absolutely gets with it. So, pretty darn cool if you ask. But, yeah. Realistic, no, but, no, oh, it sure is handy, you know? Might do three passes around the field. We'll see. This isn't, this is the biggest uh, windrow or rake in the game, but not that big. I think of the old uh, crone one. I think it's in the mod hub, the three wheel like per side, so six wheels total. That thing is a monster. I think it's in the mod hub though. I could be wrong on that. I might have to go look at that because uh, bigger is better, obviously. And we have we'll have the big bloody wagon to be able to handle all this. It won't be a big deal. But see, we could eliminate two whole steps here if we get the right mod, you know. That's kind of a big deal, you know. It really is. Kind of a big deal. All right. Anyway, uh, I just got really, really, really hungry. And I know I should have just had dinner before I made this video. But that's, like, smart. That's not me, but that's smart, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, we did cut some trees down today, by the way. So Sarge cut some trees around... Uh, like here, he caught a few. Pretty much all around this field and our other fields. He went around for a while with the brooks and did some chop chopping. So that was uh, that was pretty good. So anyway, y'all get the uh, y'all get the idea here. You know, mow it, add it, break it, pick it up. I will uh, be back on Monday. Should be back with another video. Should be. Sorry, I've been so, like, spotty with them. To be honest, it's... I don't know what it is, but uh, I do apologize for being so spotty with them. I really do. I know there is a diehard group of you that, that like these videos and watch these videos and all that good stuff, and I just... I don't know. I haven't been... I uh, haven't been in the mood to record much lately. So, that is why. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, God's oodles.